how has sort of the the first spring here in Columbia been treating you? Uh, it's been treating me well. Uh, the weather's a lot better. <laughs> um, but I mean, I'm enjoying the coaching staff, um, a lot of the players, and the area in general. What, what do you have, you have to sit out this next year, correct? Even though you did some junior college, or I don't. You don't. Okay. Don't. Um, what what where do you kind of feel you are in the in the running back pecking order, and how do you feel you're sort of adapting this kind of offense? Um, I think I'm adapting pretty well. Um, but as far as depth, I know our coach doesn't really get too caught up into that. Um, he just tells you know play and things will figure themselves out when the time's right. How, how different is it running this kind of thing as compared to the offense you ran at Wisconsin and also really the offense you ran in high school as well? Um, I think the offense in uh, in Wisconsin was a little more downhill. Um, we did less running out of the gun. Um, high school was just a straight uh, power eye triple option. So that's it's definitely much different from that. How do you like the change of style and different kinds of things you're doing in this offense? Um, I don't have too much of an opinion on it. Um, I think all three of them work for you know the the overall style of the type of players we have, and I think that's what you know that's the only thing you can do. What was sort of the process that kind of that kind of got you back here in state? Um, just as. You know, just the way Coach Bentley recruited me, you know, despite even though you told me, you know, they didn't have a scholarship, he still actively recruited me hard. Um, me and him built a, built a good relationship from the first time I decided to transfer before I went to the JUCO. Um, and then he just basically did a good job recruiting me and, you know, being honest with me, um, all the qualities to look for in a good coach. Are you happy no one is trying to make you play defense these days? <laughs> I'm very happy. That was, that was not working out. With, with the different running backs you guys have, it seems like there's kind of a little variety of mm -hmm. different styles. Like, what's kind of your niche with, with that group and what are some things to bring to the table to that group? Um, I think now, at this point in my career, I think I've developed, you know, more of a downhill running style, especially from going into the Big Ten. Um, so I think that helps me a lot as far as me being a little more versatile, being able to do a little bit of the, the speed and be able to run downhill also. Um, I think all of all of our backs have a good variety of um, both, you know, just as far as from the way we get taught in the in the classroom and then on the field. How about with Coach Bentley? What's it like now that you've gotten to work with him for a uh, Me and him are getting along really well. Um, I think our relationship is, um, I wouldn't say it's better than, you know, my previous running back relationship. I think me and him are more of a, I know that I can go to him. He's going to tell me what it is and what it's not. And, you know, I don't have to worry about guessing or anything like that. Um, and he's always just up front about everything in the room. Um, he just wants us to get better. Kayla, what's really caught your eye about this offense in the short time that you've been here? Um, the amount of talent we have. Um, you know, for me, looking from the outside in on last year's season, the season before that, um, you know, you kind of felt like, you know, maybe they didn't have a lot of offensive power. but. I mean, there's a lot of talent on this offense, and I think as things continue to come together, we're going to be a really good team.